The most interesting thing about uh, when I'm working with kids and they make a comic is no matter what the premise is, because within our project you need a form, so I'll give them a title and I say six panels tell the story. So I'll give a student a title like um, first day at alien school. So what's life like on this alien planet? What do kids that go to this alien school do? And I was working with this, uh, this eight-year-old girl one time she was doing the project and she started telling the story and the first panel was pretty generic. It was like, here's the moon, there's a school on it, here's kids going to school. And a little romance scene started to develop in the second panel and over the course of the other four panels, these two aliens like fell in love and sort of morphed into humans and by the end they got married and it was a story of what to this eighth eight-year-old is what it means to fall in love and be married from what she sees from her parents or things she's watching on television. So the story became her own thing. I told her it was going to be about an alien school and she decided to tell me a story about what it's like to fall in love. So no matter what the title is, I think there's always these deeper sensations that come out. And if you like, if you look closely at the work they're doing, you can see them. And it's cool. It's cool to have the insight into people. It's like they're sharing things with you but they don't know it. <laughs> you, just, you just have to look for it. So it's, it's cool, there are, there's always a serious element, even when we're doing silly comics. Kids are always being pretty serious about stuff because it, that's a big thing for them. A day is a long time for a kid. If you come to a cartooning class, that's a big part of your life that day and it might be something new and they're taking it seriously. And um, even if it's ridiculous, there's still, there's still a really serious tone in trying to get the idea out there because you don't get asked to do that a lot. When you're a kid, you don't get asked, what is your idea? What do you want to say? And so I, I think my classes give that to them a little bit.